Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome back to another episode of PyTest Basics. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be talking about yield fixtures. So in the past few videos, we've looked at how we can use test fixtures to initialize our tests. However, it's often the case that we also want our fixtures to provide some sort of teardown or cleanup to our test functions. For example, a fixture may acquire or create some sort of resource, and we want that fixture to be responsible for also um, releasing or cleaning up that resource after our test completes. Now to do this, we can use this thing called yield fixtures, and that's what we're gonna be looking at today. So let's go ahead and get started, and we'll open up our example here of testyieldfixtures.py. And inside of here, we have a couple of familiar faces. We have our square function, which squares the number, and then we have our test for our square function called test square, which prints out running our test, then computes square using our square function and compares the result against um, you know, our initial value raised to the power of two. Now, with our test here, we're requesting this fixture initial value. So this is going to be our yield fixture. So we're going to want this fixture to um, provide a value to this test and then do something after our test completes. But how exactly do we write a fixture like that? So let's go ahead and see by opening up our fixture in comptest.py. And for the most part, it looks just like a normal PyTest fixture. It's just a Python function that we've added our decorator at pytest.fixture to. However, inside the body, instead of just returning a value to our test from the fixture, we're now yielding a value. So what exactly is going on here? How, how does this exactly work? So when our test starts up and it calls the fixtures to say, get this initial value, our initial value fixture will run. It'll print out providing a value to our test. And then we'll get to this yield of five. So this will provide the value of five for initial value and yield control to our test. So our test will then run, print out running our test, you know, check this assert down here. However, after the test completes, control is then going to return to our test fixture. So our fixture is going to restart after this yield line and then print out finishing up. It's a very common thing that people will end up doing with yield fixtures is they'll um, acquire or create some sort of resource, right? Initially, they'll yield a handle to that resource to the test, and then they'll clean up or release that resource after the yield. So after our test has completed, and returned control back to the fixture. Common way, that's a common way of using yield fixtures. Okay, so let's go ahead and quit out of here and see how this looks. And just as a reminder, we should see three prints in a very specific order. We should see initially providing a value to our test from our fixture, then control goes down to our test. So we should then see running our test. And then finally, after our test completes, we should see this print of finishing up. So that's the order in which we should see these strings when we run our test. Okay, so let's go ahead and quit out of here. And we can first uh, see our fixture by using pytest dash dash fixtures on test yield fixtures. And we can see it just shows up like any other fixture. We have initial value here defined in our conftest.py file. And then we can go ahead and run our test. So pytest test yield fixtures.py. And remember, we have to add this dash s if we want to see this output um, from our prints just because Pytus hides away things like standard out and standard error messages uh, from us in order to not clutter the output. So we'll run with dash s and we see our three prints in the order that we expect. So initially we see our print from our fixture, say saying providing a value to our test. Then we see our print from our test body running our test. Then we can see that our test runs and completes. So we get this little green dot here. And then we see after our test completes, our final finishing up print message. So we saw all three uh, prints in the order that we expected using our yield fixture. Okay, so that's gonna go ahead and do it for this time. It's the basics of using yield fixtures. Of course, I'll link down below document the uh, official documentation of yield pix, uh, fixtures from docs.pytest.org. So you can see that on the right-hand side of the screen. As always, you can check out any of these code examples at github.com slash coffee before arch. So you can find these uh, under repositories and then under PyTest. And also I have some written guides on PyTest as well, including a guide on yield fixtures. But that's gonna go ahead and do it for today. 
As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.